Happy 10th anniversary, happy in South Sudanese Independence Day to all my South Sudanese all around the world. Um, I hope today we sit and reflect on what our culture is, our identity. The only message I really have for you guys out there is remember the, the core values to the reason why we have this Independence Day. It is not only for us, but it's for our future generations. You know, if we can identify and recognize what our values are and our identity and our culture to um, showcase to the wider, wider community in the mainstream um, westernized culture, then what we're doing is we're actually showing them that we do have a culture and we do have an identity. So when we don't celebrate the independence and don't recognize the core values as to why that is there, then we're telling them that we don't have a culture and we don't have an identity. You know, especially a lot of the young ones growing up, like myself who didn't grow up back home in South Sudan, but because through the teachings that my family has given me is why I stand here today and as a proud South Sudanese woman and um, someone who's so proud and confident in my culture and my identity and where I come from, it is very important that we keep that alive and we continue to praise and we continue to, to teach our young ones and, and not allow that to die out. So once again, happy, happy 10th anniversary and happy South Sudanese Independence Day. People. Hello everyone, my name is Sibet Parambang. I'm the current acting president for South Sudanese Community Association of Queensland. Today, I would like to wish all South Sudanese across the world happy 10th anniversary to the Republic of South Sudan. It is with great joy to remember and reflect on how we felt, the hope we had, and the aspiration we did um, imagine for the Republic of South Sudan in July of 2011. Um, South Sudan became independent in July 2011 on the 9th and this has come a long way. Um, back in the 50s, the South Sudanese people or the, Sudan the Sudanese Liberation uh, Movement and Army had a problem with the government of Sudan which led to a civil war that lasted for almost 50 years. In 2005, a CPA was signed which fostered the referendum that took place in J January of 2011. Um, and since then, after January 2011 referendum, more than 98% of South Sudanese across the world had a chance to cast their vote, and they all voted for separation, self-determination, an opportunity for them to decide on their fate and to decide on the future of their children's and their land. Now, we are celebrating 10 years of that self-determination. I want to wish all South Sudanese across the world a happy 10th anniversary and, and would like to encourage and advise them or to even say to them, reflect on the joy we had, the hope we had in January and July of 2011. 10 years into it, we want to say that it has been challenging, but the next 10 years are going to be better than the last. We need to come together. We need to think about what it means to become South Sudanese. South Sudanese. What is our national identity? What is so important about our culture? And why did so many people sacrifice their lives and their livelihood and their way of lifestyle and their families to fight for separation or to fight for self-determination or to fight for freedom? Now that we have freedom, we need to free our minds. We need to be able to say to ourselves and to our children that we are South Sudanese. We had hopes and aspiration for all of us we need to work for the betterment of the South Sudanese people across the world and back home. It is not simple for us to just sit back and blame. We need to carry our cross, take our responsibility, because the change you seek is within you. The nation that we are looking for is within us. We need to expose that. We need to come out as young people, as elders, and as mothers, and as children, and be proud of the name we carry, which is now South Sudanese. Um, here in Queensland, the vision is to see a unified South Sudanese community where we promote our culture, our well-being, and contribute positively to the economic and social fabric of the wider Queensland. Now, there are so many ways that we can really do that, and each and every one of us has a responsibility to play a role on how can we demonstrate unity, how can we demonstrate peace, how can we demonstrate justice, and how can we achieve prosperity. You will need to play your part as a mother, as a father, as a child, or as a young person who is equipped with all the qualities
to see us moving to a much better level. So what will be happening this weekend? This weekend we had a lot of plans and a lot of celebration and opportunities to unite, to promote our culture, to share our food and share our lifestyle and to really show the people that we are so happy to be self-determined or have been called South Sudanese for the last 10 years. So we're going to have a massive culture, actually a massive cultural um, festival type, but more of a celebration where we will showcase our culture, our music, our food, and all in between. However, due to COVID restriction, we had to postpone that. We also plan to have a soccer tournament, a basketball tournament, and also a massive barbecue for all the families to come and enjoy themselves here in Queensland. Unfortunately, we also had to postpone that just for this month of July. Now in August, we are going to have the barbecue, the soccer tournament and the basketball tournament. And then on the 11th of September, 2021, Queensland will come together. We are going to celebrate our culture, our food, our music, and all the beautiful things that keep us together. And we are going to demonstrate to the world that when we have peace, we have opportunity to, to access all the qualities that are lacking back home we can demonstrate the unity that people are yearning for. We can demonstrate how we can better promote our culture and how we can really showcase the wonderful achievements that we are making out here in the diaspora, in particular in Queensland, Australia. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next coming event. What will be happening tonight is that there's going to be a Facebook Live show to basically have a discussion between three different generations. The generation that fought for, for the freedom, the generation that struggled and got displayed, and the generation where I am, where we are now have the opportunity and got um, the, the education that our parents were seeking for, and the qualities and the opportunities or even the skills to really put us on the map in terms of the world stage. So we look forward to having that discussion tonight on Facebook Live. So hopefully you will have a chance to click and actually join the conversation. Tomorrow, we are looking to go and have this union prayer. The purpose of the union prayer is for all the church pastors and the church congregations and the people of South Sudan to come together, to bow their head down, and to thank God for what we managed to achieve and the prayers that he had answered for us to be free and become South Sudan. And also to pray God and put some requests on God's table to say that we want the next 10 years to be much better than the last 10 years. So we are going to have a service prayer where we are going to pray for peace, we are going to pray for our nation, for the people, for the community, for the future, and for the prosperity, and also for us to remember God, not to forget that it was God who answered your prayer for you to be taken to the land of milk and honey, which could be here in Australia or America or wherever you may be. And now, we need to return that favor and come back to God and say, Dear Lord, give us the leaders who will now take us to the promised land. The land, uh, the people who will actually develop this land that you gave us. The people who will work the land. The people who will write those systems and those um, processes and those um, governing, ways, governing system to see us um, become a much better people and to see us become the Sassanese people that people are yearning for. We are ready, we are capable, and we are more than what people think we are. All we have to do is implement all the skills and the knowledge we have acquired in the diaspora, and we hope our people back in South Sudan gets the help they need, and we hope that there's going to be space or an opportunity provided for all of us to give back in one way or another. You don't have to give money, give your skills, give your time, give your advice, give your hope and share your inspiring ways so that we can move to a much better place. Uh, thank you very much um, for listening. Thank you very much for tuning in. Once again, my name is Sebet, and I'm currently working with the Sassanese community in Queensland. I'm very passionate, and I hope you are also passionate and inspired to change the way people think about South Sudan and the South Sudan. Once again, happy 10th anniversary to the Republic of South Sudan. Happy Independence Day to all South Sudanese across the world. This is the day that belongs to all of us. It belongs to all those who sacrificed their lives, those who were the liberators. It belongs to our mothers, our fathers, the children who were raised without parents, and those who became child soldiers, and now us who are now, who potentially become the benefit 
are the beneficiaries of this great nation that so much have been sacrificed for. So happy 10th anniversary, happy Independence Day. We look forward to celebrating the 10th with joy, hope, and, 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 and happiness. And then we look forward to visualizing a much better future, a much better 10 years ahead. Thank you.